Well, it seems that Donald Trump has done a 180 and has reversed his position, a position on Syria, which uh, helped him get elected, I would think, which is the reason that many people supported Trump, the fact that he appeared to be against regime change. He buys the story about uh, chemical weapons in Syria, which really is hard to believe would be true. Why would the government on the verge of victory against the rebels, rebels who in the past had more or less been supported by the West, you know, the United States and other countries, at least allegedly, we'll say allegedly supported. And the West certainly has been talking about getting rid of Assad, regime change, Assad must go. For several years now, the Russians have come in and they've reversed uh, Assad's imminent defeat in over a number of years have turned that into a victory for what they call the regime in, in Syria. And I, I don't understand it other than Donald Trump has become Hillary Clinton or something. He's become exactly everything that he was supposed to oppose. And so now we might have some kind of more direct intervention in Syria, which means war in which possibly could mean some form of confrontation, who knows how that would look, with, uh, with Russia. And really, by extension, maybe that would mean with China also, being that Russia and China basically agree about Syria. And it looks pretty grim, but who knows, really. Uh, what is going to happen, and we can't really, we can't really predict, can we? Because everything is so erratic, it seems.